আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম ডক্টর রিফাত তাবাসসুম অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট প্রফেসর বসুন্ধরা আদিন মেডিকেল কলেজ সাউথ কেনিগজ ঢাকা টুডে উই আর গোয়িং টু ডিসকাস অ্যাবাউট ইকোসানয়েডস প্রোস্ট্যাগ্লাইন্ডিনস অ্যান্ড রিলেটেড কম্পাউন্ডস আর কালেকটিভলি নোন অ্যাজ ইকোসানয়েডস দ্য গ্রিক টার্ম ইকোসি মিনস টোয়েন্টি মোস্ট অফ দেম আর প্রডিউস ফ্রম দ্য অ্যারাকিটোনিক অ্যাসিড এ টোয়েন্টি কার্বন পলি আনসাচুয়েটেড ফ্যাটি অ্যাসিড ইকোসানয়েডস আর ফার্মাকোলজিক্যালি অ্যান্ড ফিজিওলজিক্যালি অ্যাক্টিভ কম্পাউন্ড দ্য ইকোসানয়েডস আর কনসিডার্ড অ্যাজ লোকাল হরমোস বিকজ দে হ্যাভ স্পেসিফিক ইফেক্টস অন টার্গেট সেলস ক্লোজ টু দেয়ার সাইট অফ ফরমেশন দে আর র্যাপিডলি ডিগ্রেডেটেড সো দে আর নট ট্রান্সপোর্টেড টু ডিস্টার্জ সাইট উইথ ইন দ্য বডি অ্যাজ এ হরমোন ইট পার্টিসিপেট ইন দ্য ইন্টারসেলার সিগনালিং examples of ecosanoids prostaglandins prostacyclines thromboxen leukotrienes etc function they have role in inflammation fever regulation of blood pressure blood clotting immune system modulation control of reproductive processes and tissue growth and regulation of sleep or awake cycle now synthesis of prostaglandin The biosynthesis of prostaglandins are from the arachidonic acid. It is the precursor for most of the prostaglandin in humans. The synthesis occurs in the endoplasmic reticulum. Step 1. Ecosanide are the substance which are derived from the arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid is released from the membrane bound phospholipids by phospholipase A2. Here is the reaction. Arachidonic acid is converted to prostaglandin G2 by oxidation and cyclization and reaction catalyzed by the cyclooxygenase. Prostaglandin G2 is then converted to prostaglandin H2 by a glutathione dependent peroxidase. Prostaglandin H2 is the precursor for number of prostaglandins including prostacycline and thromboxanes. Here is the flowchart of synthesis of ecosanoids. First of all, the membrane phospholipid which is converted or converted to arachidonic acid by the enzyme phospholipase A2. From arachidonic acid we will get leukotriens by the enzyme lipoxenase. And from arachidonic acid we will get prostaglandin G2 by the enzyme cyclooxygenase. And then from Uh, peroxidase enzyme we will get prostaglandin G2 and peroxidoxygenase uh, enzyme we will get H2 prostaglandin H2 from prostaglandin H2 we will get prostaglandin I2 prostaglandin F2 prostaglandin E2 and thromboxane A2 suicidal enzyme cyclooxygenase is called the suicidal enzyme Prostaglandin synthesis is partially controlled by the cyclooxygenase. The enzyme has the capa capacity to self-catalyze destruction to stop prostaglandin synthesis. That's why it is known as suicidal enzyme. Inhibition of the prostaglandin synthesis. Corticosteroid and anti-inflammatories which inhibit phospholipase A2 and prevent release of arachidonic acid. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatories inhibit cyclooxygenase and inhibit synthesis of the prostaglandin. Aspirin irreversibly inhibits like cyclooxygenase, whereas ibuprofen and indomethacin reversibly inhibit. Mechanism of action of prostaglandin. Prostaglandins and related compounds are transported out of the cell that synthesize them. Most of them affect other cells by interacting with plasma membrane G protein coupled, re uh, coupled receptors. Depending on the cell type, the activated G protein may stimulate or inhibit the formation of cyclic AMP or may active the post uh, phosphatidyl inositol signal pathway leading to intracellular calcium release. Some prostaglandin have nuclear receptor with transcription factor activity. Now biochemical functions. Number one is regulation of blood pressure. Prostaglandin E and prostaglandin I2 are vasodilators and lowers the blood pressure. 
Number two, inflammation, prostaglandin E2 and prostaglandin E1 causes arterial dilatation and induce the symptoms of inflammation, redness, edema, etc. Reproduction, prostaglandin E2 and prostaglandin F2 causes uterine smooth muscle contraction and widely used for the medical termination of pregnancy and induction of the liver. Regulation of gastric juice secretion, prostaglandin E inhibits gastric secretion and used for the treatment of the gastric ulcer. Pain and fever, pyogens stimulates the biosynthesis of the E2 in the hypothalamus which is the site for temperature regulation. Prostaglandin E2 along with histamine and bradykinin causes pain. Aspirin and other non-steroidal anti-inflammatories inhibit prostaglandin synthesis and thus control fever and pain. Platelet aggregation and thrombosis. Prostaglandin I2 inhibits platelet aggregation and prostaglandin E2 and thromboxane A2 promotes the platelet aggregation and blood clotting leading to thrombosis. Biochem biomedical application of prostaglandins. Prostaglandins are used for the treatment of the gastric ulcer, medical termination of pregnancy and induction of the liver and treatment of the hypertension and thrombosis. Inhibitors of the prostaglandin synthesis that is aspirin, ibuprofen are utilized the treatment of fever, pain and inflammation. Leukotrienes. Leukotrienes are synthesized by the leukocytes, mast cell, lung, heart, spleen etc by lipoxygenase pathway. Function. It causes contraction of the smooth muscle so that they will be bronchoconstriction and vasoconstrictor. It also causes addition of the WBC and release of lysosomal enzyme. It is involved in the anaphylactic reaction as the component of slow reacting substance anaphylaxis. Biomedical application of the leukotrienes. Inhibitors of the 5 lipoxygenase that is Montelukast binding the leukotrienes to their receptors on the plasma membrane and of the airway of the smooth muscle cells and used for the treatment of the bronchial asthma. Thank you all. Assalamu alaikum.